Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, let me set the scene for you. Prince Harry, looking like he just stepped out of a James Bond movie, minus the martini, takes the stage to present an award. The crowd goes wild, phones are out, and suddenly, the camera pans to Venus Williams. And that's when it happened, folks. The smirk seen round the world. Venus Williams, seven-time Grand Slam champion, Olympic gold medalist, and all-around badass, is caught on camera with what some people are calling a smirk. A smirk. During Prince Harry's speech, it's like catching the queen doing the Macarena. Unexpected, slightly shocking, and absolutely riveting. Now, let's pause for a moment and talk about this so-called smirk. Was it really a smirk? Or was it just Venus resting? I've won more trophies than you've had hot dinners face. I mean, the woman's known for her killer game face on the court. Maybe that's just how she looks when she's not smashing aces and breaking hearts. But oh no, the internet wasn't having any of that reasonable explanation. Faster than you can say double fault. The speculation machine went into overdrive. Was Venus mocking Prince Harry? Did she not approve of his speech? Was there some secret tennis court feud we didn't know about? The theories were flying faster than a Serena Williams serve. Some folks were clutching their pearls, absolutely aghast at the idea that anyone would dare to smirk at royalty. How dare she? They cried, probably while sipping tea with their pinkies out. Others were cheering Venus on, like she'd just won another Grand Slam. You tell them, Venus. They hollered, probably while doing fist pumps in their living rooms. But here's where it gets really interesting, folks. Enter Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex herself, looking like a million bucks in change. The camera catches her approaching Venus Williams in the audience, and suddenly, it's like we're watching a silent movie with the world's most intriguing plot. Meghan leans in, Venus listens, and the whole world holds its breath. What are they saying? Is Meghan giving Venus a royal telling off? Is Venus explaining the finer points of her serve technique? Are they swapping beauty tips? The possibilities are endless. Now, let's be real for a second. Meghan and Venus have known each other for years. They've rubbed elbows at charity events, probably shared a laugh or two over cocktails. So, the idea that Meghan's storming over there to defend her husband's honor like some medieval knight in a designer dress? It's about as likely as me winning Wimbledon next year. But that didn't stop the rumor mill from churning out theories faster than a tabloid prince gossip. Some people were convinced that Meghan was laying down the law, telling Venus to watch her facial expressions or risk being banished from the kingdom. Others thought they were plotting world domination, or at least planning a really epic girls' night out. The truth is, we don't know what they were talking about. It could have been anything from, hey, love that last match, to is there spinach in my teeth. But that's the beauty of it, isn't it? In a world where we know everything about everyone thanks to social media, this little moment of mystery is like catnip for our curiosity. And let's not forget the real victim in all of this, Prince Harry. There he is, probably practicing his speech in the mirror for weeks, and all anyone can talk about is a maybe smirk and a whispered conversation. It's like showing up to your birthday party and finding out everyone's more interested in the napkin rings than your cake. But you know what? This whole kerfuffle just goes to show how much we love a good story. We're like kids around the campfire, eager to hear the next twist in the tale. And when it comes to royals and celebrities, we're always ready to fill in the blanks with our own wild imaginations. So, what's the moral of this story? Well, for one, maybe we should all be a bit more careful about our facial expressions in public. You never know when you might accidentally start an international incident with your eyebrows. And two, sometimes a smirk is just a smirk. A conversation is just a conversation. And we're all just a bunch of gossip-loving goobers who can't resist a good mystery. But wait, there's more. Because this story doesn't end with just a smirk and a whisper. Oh no, folks, this is where it gets really juicy. Fast forward to the present day, and we've got Venus Williams, tennis racket in one hand and microphone in the other, ready to spill the tea. And let me tell you, this tea is hotter than a summer day in Death Valley. Venus, in an exclusive interview that's got more views than cat videos on the internet, 
finally breaks her silence on the whole ESPY Awards debacle. And boy, does she have some things to say. First off, she addresses the infamous smirk. Look, she says, leaning in like she's about to serve an ace. I've been playing tennis since I could walk. My face has been through more expressions than a Pixar movie. That smirk. That's just my I'm listening intently, but also thinking about my next match face. But then, folks, she drops a bombshell that's got everyone's jaws on the floor. Apparently, that hushed conversation with Megan wasn't just idle chit-chat. Oh no. According to Venus, it was a full-on confrontation. Megan came over. Venus reveals, her eyes sparkling like she's just won another Grand Slam, and she was not happy. She said, Venus, I saw that look. What's the deal? And I told her, Megan, honey, that's just my face. But while we're on the subject, what's the deal with you and Harry buying up awards like they're on clearance? Boom. There it is, folks. The serve heard round the world. Venus Williams, accusing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of trying to buy awards. It's like accusing the Queen of secretly loving McDonald's. Shocking, slightly unbelievable, but also oh juicy. Now let's break this down for a second. We've got Venus Williams, a woman who's won more awards than most of us have had hot dinners, accusing Harry and Meghan of trying to buy their way to glory. It's like the plot of a soap opera, but with better outfits and more athletic ability. But here's where it gets really interesting. Venus doesn't stop there. Oh no, she's on a roll, and she's serving up more tea than a British afternoon social. Look. She continues, her voice dripping with more sarcasm than a teenager forced to attend a family reunion. I've worked my butt off for every award I've ever received. Blood, sweat, tears, and more blisters than I care to count. So when I hear about people trying to shortcut their way to recognition, that doesn't sit well with me. Not one bit. And just when you think it can't get any more dramatic, Venus drops the mick with this zinger. I told Megan, honey. If you want an award that badly, I've got a few participation trophies from my junior tennis days. You're welcome to them. Ouch. That's got to sting more than a tennis ball to the face. Now, let's be clear here. We don't have any concrete evidence that Harry and Meghan have been trying to buy awards. For all we know, this could be a big misunderstanding. Or Venus could have gotten some bad intel. But in the world of celebrity gossip, perception is reality. And right now... The perception is spissier than a ghost pepper curry. But wait, there's more, because this isn't just about awards and smirks anymore. Oh no, this has opened up a whole can of worms about celebrity culture, the value of hard work, and what it really means to earn recognition. On one side, we've got the Venus Williamses of the world, athletes who've dedicated their lives to their sport, who've sacrificed and struggled and fought tooth and nail for every accolade. These are people who wear their calluses like badges of honor, who measure their worth in sweat and determination. And on the other side, well, we've got the new breed of celebrity, the ones who seem to float effortlessly from one red carpet to another, who make headlines for just existing, who seem to collect awards and accolades like their Pokemon cards. It's a clash of cultures, folks. Old school grit versus new school glitz. And caught in the middle? Our royal lovebirds, Harry and Meghan. Now let's be fair for a second. Harry and Meghan have done their fair share of charity work. They've used their platform to raise awareness for important causes. But in the eyes of someone like Venus Williams, that might not cut the mustard. And here's the real kicker. This whole debacle has opened up a Pandora's box of questions about the entertainment industry as a whole. Are awards really earned, or are they just another commodity to be bought and sold? Is talent still the deciding factor, or is it all about who you know and how much you're willing to spend? It's enough to make your head spin faster than a tennis ball in a Williams sisters match. But here's the thing, folks. In all this drama, in all this he said, she said, smirk gate madness, we might be missing the bigger picture. Because at the end of the day, isn't this all just a big glitzy, over-the-top circus that we can't help but watch? I mean, think about it. We've got royalty, we've got sports stars, we've got Hollywood glamour, we've got smirks and whispers and accusations flying left and right. It's like someone took all our favorite tabloid stories, threw them in a blender, and served up the juiciest smoothie you've ever tasted. And you know what? Maybe that's okay. 
Maybe in this crazy, mixed-up world, we need a little bit of drama now and then. A little bit of did she really say that, and what were they thinking? To spice up our daily lives. So here's my take, folks. Whether Venus really confronted Megan, whether Harry and Megan are really trying to buy awards, whether that smirk was really a smirk, does it really matter in the grand scheme of things? Probably not. But it sure is fun to talk about, isn't it? So the next time you're at a fancy event, or heck, even just at your local coffee shop, remember the great ESPY Awards drama of 2018. Remember that a single facial expression can start a firestorm, that a whispered conversation can spark a thousand theories, and that in the world of celebrity, truth is often stranger than fiction. And most importantly, remember this. Whether you're a tennis superstar, a royal duchess, or just an average Joe watching it all unfold from your couch, we're all part of this crazy, wonderful, gossip-loving human family. And at the end of the day, isn't that what really matters? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go practice my I'm not smirking. This is just my face expression in the mirror. You never know when it might come in handy. Until then, folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.